Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred's and St Peter's for where you join us for our service of morning prayer in the Easter season on Monday the 3rd of May 2021 Bank Holiday Monday in early May. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for the Rector uh, the Reverend Joe Richards uh, she is uh, away today uh, practicing with her husband uh, for a, a charity walk uh, later in the year and uh, the weather looks absolutely fine for her uh, walking out. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We say our Easter anthems. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 145 starting at the first verse, is Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. I will exhort you, O God my King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is beyond all searching out. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts. They shall speak of the majesty of your glory and I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. They shall speak of the might of your marvellous acts and I will also tell of your greatness. They shall pour forth the story of your abundant kindness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long suffering, suffering and of great goodness. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. The Lord is loving to everyone and his mercy is over all his creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mighty power. 
to make known all peoples, to all peoples your mighty acts and glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. The Lord is sure in all his words and faithful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all who wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and fill all things with plenty. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over those who love him, but all the wicked shall he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name for ever and ever. King of the universe, you show the bright glory, bright glory of your reign in acts of mercy and enduring love. Raise the spirits of the downcast and restore those who have fallen away, that we may sing forever of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, starting at the first verse. Observe the month of Abib by keeping the Passover to the Lord your God. For in the month of Abib, the Lord your God brought you out of Egypt by night. You shall offer the Passover sacrifice to the Lord your God from the flock and the herd at the place of the Lord will choose as a dwelling for his name. You must not eat with it anything leaven. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread with it, the bread of affliction, because you came out of the land of Egypt in great haste, so that all the days of your life you may remember the day of your departure from the land of Egypt. No leaven shall be seen with you, in all your territory for seven days, and none of the meat that you slaughter on the evening of your first day shall remain until morning. You are not permitted to offer the Passover sacrifice within any of your towns that the Lord your God is giving you. But at that place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name, only there shall you offer the Passover sacrifice. In the evening at sun sunset, the time of day when you departed from Egypt, you shall cook it and eat it at the place that the Lord your God will choose. The next morning you may go back to your tents. For six days you will continue to eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a solemn assembly for the Lord your God, when you shall do no work. You shall count seven weeks, Begin to count the seven weeks from the time the sickle is first put into the standing grain. Then you shall keep the festival of weeks to the Lord your God, contributing a free will offering in proportion to the blessing that you have received from the Lord your God. Rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your sons and your daughters, your male and female slaves, the Levites registered in your, re resident in your town, as well as the strangers, the orphans, and the widows who are among you. At the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. Remember that you were a slave in Egypt and diligently observed these statutes. 
You shall keep the festival of booths for seven days, when you have gathered in the produce from, produce from your threshing floor and your wine press. Rejoice during your festival, you and your sons and your daughters, your male and female slaves, as well as the Levites, the strangers, the orphans and the widows resident in your towns. For seven days you shall keep the festival to the Lord your God at the place that the Lord shall choose. For the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce and in all your undertakings, and you shall surely celebrate. Three times a year all your males shall appear before the Lord your God at the place he will choose. At the festival of unleavened bread, at the festival of weeks, and the festival of booths. They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. All shall give as they are able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God that he has given you. You shall appoint judges and officials throughout your tribes, in all your towns, and the Lord your God is giving you. And they shall render just decisions for the people. You must not distort justice, you must not show partiality, and you must not accept bribes, for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and subverts the cause of those who are in the right, justice and only justice, you shall pursue, so that you may live and occupy the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Song of Moses and Miriam In all your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise the God of my forebears, whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands has, have established. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. Our second reader reading is taken from the first letter of Peter, chapter 1, starting at the first verse. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia and Bithynia, who have been chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith being more precious than gold, that though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. 
Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him. And rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your works. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry, inquiring about the person and time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated. When it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the subsequent glory, it was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in regard to the things that have now been announced to you, through those who brought you good news by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, you shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord has risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Gracious Lord, we thank you for this bright new day. And we ask you to be with us in all the tasks that we are about. We ask you to have special compassion in this world of many needs with India and the serious problems that they're facing due to poverty. And we ask that the church, both in this country and abroad, might show compassion and come to the rescue of those who are of your creation. We ask you to especially bless the people of God that we may proclaim the risen Lord. We thank you for the joy of your creation. But we ask that the peoples of the Lord, of the world, 
they meet their responsibility to comfort, com to care for your creation. Please be with those who are in despair and darkness. Touch them with your love that they might find the hope and light of Christ. Be with those in fear of death that they might find faith through the resurrection. And throughout this season, we pray for prisoners and captives, both guilty and innocent. And we pray for the victims of crime. And we ask you to stand between those who have conflict in their hearts. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires to be your continual help. We may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's good new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thank you for joining me this morning in our service of morning prayer. Uh, I will be with you again this evening at six o'clock for night prayer at Compline. And the rector will be back with you on Tuesday morning uh, for the nine o'clock service of morning prayer. Enjoy the day. Um, and hope that our gardeners are blessed with rain tonight. And I look forward to seeing those of you who can make it at the six o'clock service. God bless and bye for now.